Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Hope you are doing well. It's definitely going well in the bird calendar. As you could see in the title and thumbnail, we have our first nest with eggs. So it's time to check the nest and see what we've got. And candle some eggs. Almost three years ago, I did a video about egg candling. And it's my second most watched video, but let's go over it one more time. For those who don't know, candling is the name given to looking at the inside of a developing egg by shining a bright light through it. This will help you to determine if the eggs are fertile and at what development stage it is in. To candle your eggs you need a very strong flashlight and a dark surround. Let me show you the different stages. Remember, this is based on finches, other birds can have different timings for their developmental stages. And also different finches can have slightly different timings. However, the overall development stays the same. So, after the first couple of days of incubation, you don't see much. Only an almost completely yellow egg. After 5 days, the first veins appear with a red dot. Therefore, it's wise to check your eggs after at least 5 days of incubation to know if you have fertile eggs. On day 8, the embryo is a little bit more visible with a lot of veins. On day 10, the eggs is getting darker and darker and sometimes you see a very clear embryo inside and it's filling up more space. On day 14, the air sac is getting bigger and you can't shine through it anymore. The chicks will hatch very soon, within a couple of days, depending on the species. Be sure to avoid kenneling your eggs at this stage if you have to take them out of the nest, because you can harm the chicks inside or scare the parents into abandoning the eggs. Sometimes you come across some different eggs like these. If you have an unfertile egg, you can only see a yellow spot after 5 days of incubation. If the eggs are fertile but just not incubated yet, they also look like this, only with a slightly smaller spot. However, this is difficult to see, so make sure the eggs had some incubation time before removing them. If the whole egg is completely yellow, the embryo died in an early development. If half the egg is white and the other half is dark, the embryo died in late development. So with this knowledge, let's check our nests. First, the society finches. We see the same result as last year. No eggs, but I do find some egg yolk. Unfortunately, the female probably has some calcium deficiencies and can't produce any eggshells. I gave her some extra calcium this year, but still no signs of any eggshells. The mannequins didn't even start a nest yet. In a couple of days I will remove the nest for these two pairs, because I've got some big plans and I don't want them to have eggs during that period. Click that subscribe button so you don't miss upcoming updates. Let's check the parrot finches. Nowadays I use a little flashlight with a flexible neck, so I don't have to touch the eggs and because I can twist and turn it, I can easily reach the eggs even in these more difficult nests. I really love and prefer this method because I don't have to destroy a nest and I don't have to touch the eggs, so I don't disturb the birds too much. This nest has 5 eggs and they all show a yellow dot. It could be that they are all infertile. However, I also did not see the parents incubate the eggs, so probably they are just not incubated. They also could be here. Going down to the alfinches, we had a lot of success with them last year and again we got 5 eggs. We see that in comparison with the parrot finch eggs, these are bright yellow with some small red veins. It's difficult to see, but these are probably incubated for 4 to 5 days now. There's only one with only a yellow spot. We know that these are incubated, so this egg is infertile. Some people will remove this egg, but definitely in this phase, I will always leave it in to not disturb the birds too much. The golden finches are also very busy, especially at the nest box in the far corner of the aviary. Both the black headed white breasted male and the red headed purple breasted male had a lot of fights over this nest box. 
but eventually the white-breasted male won and made a nest with the purple-breasted female. The purple-breasted male eventually settled in a nest box right above the door together with the white-breasted female. So let's check out if there are any eggs. The quills already laid a bunch of eggs, but no incubation yet. We start at the nest box above the door. We've got four eggs. Three of the eggs are in between eight to ten days. They are almost completely red, but you can still look through them. The last one is infertile. Not a bad result. How about the other nest? Five eggs and they all look incubated for around 10 days. This means in a couple of days we will have our first chicks. I can't wait. Amazing result. Four nests with eggs and in a couple of days we can expect some chicks. For now, let's leave the birds alone so they can get back to the eggs before they get too cold. Hope you liked this video, if so click that like button and maybe we will get more views for this video than my other video about candles. This would be so nice but therefore I need your help. Like, share and subscribe so more people can find this video. I see you in my next video and remember to stay happy and always love your birds. Bye bye!